What up? So in this box, I'm gonna let you know, this is the missing pieces to my Jimny build. But what up, happy Saturday. I'm gonna post this right away. I wanna work on the Jimny this whole weekend. I wanna get the Jimny done. I wanna install a lot of these parts. I wanna install this little cubby here. I wanna install what's in that box, which is really important. I wanna show you guys what's in this box because we got a lot of parts from Japan that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So let's start off with this. We'll get this out the way. So in this box has been something I've been wanting for the longest. I've been telling you guys, I want to buy this, I want to buy this, but I can't spend $400, $500. I waited, I waited, I waited, and I was able to get it for about, I think, three, like 310 plus shipping, which isn't terrible because they, I've been seeing them go for like four, five, stuff like that. I think this one has a, a couple used pieces on the kit, but itself is basically all brand new. I'm going to show you guys that last though. This is something we got. This was kind of just like a, I don't know. This is, uh, I can't even explain to you why I got this. I mean, I know why I got it, but super not fun, not entertaining at all. But it's the black steering wheel column. Mine looks disgusting. I'll show you guys that later today. Um, so I got both pieces for that. Mine is just like chalky and trash. Next we have this, which is, I'm gonna say for sale because I ordered two. If anybody has a Jimny and they want clear lights, uh, hit me up. I got two of these. So I got that one. That's the right one. Here's the left one. And then I got another kit that came with it because I really just wanted the side lights, which are these right here. I wanted these white. Um, and it came with that too. And I was like, damn, I ended up getting two. So we got these for the Jimny. Should be pretty easy to install and they should just be a direct um, bolt on. And then these I believe are also the same lights. Oh no, did I get these twice? Oh no, 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 I got the signals twice. These are not for sale. What's for sale is these guys. So I got two of these. If you want them, hit me up. I think they're like, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks, something like that. And then I got an OEM Suzuki key. I'm gonna tell you guys I wanted this. This was like seven, ten dollars something like that. Uh, but that's all the little stuff. Actually, there's one more thing before I show you guys the main star, most likely the next video, along with the boost gauge and a bunch of fun stuff. We also got a spoiler for the Jimny. This looks huge to me. I don't know, it could just be all in my head. I guess I would test fit this maybe in this video, but is a spoiler for the Jimny that's cracked? It didn't say it was cracked in the listing, it said it was brand new. But there's definitely some cracks in right there. Uh, let's hold on. All right, so here's a spoiler. I guess it's not that big, but two issues. Um, obviously it's not new. There's scratches here, there's a crack here, and then there's this. What is that? I don't know. Um, but I don't think I can get it out either. So, I don't know. I, this is still a good purchase, I guess. I'm not gonna talk bad about it. And then, before I show you guys that, we got this shout out to the Suzuki Jimny Facebook group. These are coming soon too. But these are some cool OZ Rally 16 by five and a half or six. About OEM size. Uh, they're, they're clean. They're clean. I'm not going to say they're not perfect, but they were like 260 shipped. He only wanted $40 for the rims, and I think it was like 110 each box. Uh, two of these are in this box, and two of them in another box. But they look pretty cool. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use these or the stocks. I kind of like these. I definitely want to mount them up and see how they look. And then I'll see if I get some OZ, right, um, OZ Racing stickers and put them back over. But I'll probably paint these if I keep them and do them like a bronze or maybe I'll power coat them since this is not no longer a budget build and I want it to look nice. But we'll see. I think they came out pretty dope. For 250 shipped, can't really beat that. All right, so now let's unbox everything because I haven't even done that yet. Shout out to all things JDM. But let's do everything little by little. So this is the actual blow valve itself. It's definitely used because I don't, I mean, I know it's not new, but I knew that already. I don't think any of the kits that this seller sells 
are new. Looks like it's in decent shape. Hopefully it works good. I'm gonna see if I get some black um, vacuum lines though. So I told you guys when I installed the boost gauge, I was running 10 pounds. And that was with the rubber intercooler pipes. Now that this kit comes with hard intercooler pipes, I might gain like another pound and be running 11 pounds on this car. So we got some hard intercooler pipes. That's a nice touch. We got some more hard intercooler pipes right here. I can't wait to install this and hear how it sounds and see how it performs and how it just cleans up the engine bay. More intercooler pipes, the silicone. Feels good. Looks, looks new too. And then this is the heat shield, which is just a heat shield. I'll show you guys it. I think this is new too. I think the only used part is obviously the blow valve, but that's every kit. And then the air filter, but I don't really care about that too much. But yeah, this is the heat shield. Brand new. Ta-da! Says Blitz on there. Look at the in. <laughs> it's so, that could fit, not to be gross, but two fingers in here. But yeah, here's the last missing piece. They said the filter was cleaned. It looks brand new. I don't really, I'm not gonna be stressing over that, but I gotta install this. We have to install this today. I've never installed a kit like this. I installed like a blowout before, but not like this. But this looks super plug and play. This, 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 this should be super easy. Here's the thing. Put that in here, mount that up, and we should be ready to go. I wanna install these lights today because the Jimmy's gonna get wrapped next week and that should be done. So I guess I'll take you guys outside and we could um, install a couple pieces in this video because I definitely want that to be its own video because I think I wanna do that in the boost gauge at the same exact time. But I want to install these two guys. I want to install this. I want to install this. This we're going to do the same day I do the boost gauge. Let's mock up the spoiler too and see how that looks. And the rims. We got to get these rims on the car ASAP. And then we still got the old parts over here too. Still got this fender mirror that we have to figure out. How are we going to get this bad boy on? And then we got the OEM mirrors too that I want to get on the car too. I want to do a lot of stuff. All jokes aside, I want the Jimny to be like... Last thing to do is the interior wrap, we're done. Update on the Miata 2 while we're out here. I ripped off the carbon fiber fender just to get the car inside and you can see all that. That's me riding rim just to get the car inside because I was tired of it being out there. You guys remember, broken window. And I want my car people since I'm assuming most of you guys are car people. What would you do in this situation? I'm gonna get the insurance payout, it's gonna be pretty fair and I'm gonna retain my vehicle. Would you guys fix this? Or would you part out? I feel like a car like this, um, or just really any car I think if I had, if they had any car I owned, it's never gonna be the same. Like I feel like I'm never gonna appreciate it the same. I'm never gonna enjoy it the same. Replacement wise, I would need a bumper, a fender, rack and pinion I'm assuming. Uh, I don't think my control arm is broken. No, that looks fine. Uh, definitely tie rods. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, maybe that's just rust. Um, but definitely a lot here. A lot of things need to be changed here. Tire rod, axle, I'm assuming all that stuff. But the car does obviously start driving, all that jazz. But what would you do? Would you just take the payout, part this out? I could probably still get a couple thousand for this. Once fender is still good, you know, headlights, soft top, seats, hard top, carbon fiber trunk, three rims, uh, exhaust, motor, trans, all that good stuff still works. But what would you do? Let me know in the comments. Now on to the Jimny. Look at this. Come on. I'm not trying to make this car a show car, but if I could spend $7 and get a nice black replacement, why wouldn't I do that? You know what I mean? So we got that done. I figured since I got new LED headlights, new LED tail lights, you guys remember the cool G-Wagon style lights, I had to change these little orange lights. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to get that done. Change this guy. Change that guy. We add the cubby later. And let's see how this spoiler looks because I haven't really seen many Jimny's with spoiler. It doesn't have a third brake light or anything like that. It's not like a, I don't even know if it's an OEM spoiler, but let's just see. 
how would this go and it'll sit right there okay that's not bad oh it'll sit just like this wait there's screws up oh no there's not screws that's not bad that's not a bad little look i wrap this black or whatever color i do the roof that's not bad how would i drill it because i don't want to do double-sided tape I don't know, I might have to use double-sided tape, which I'm not crazy about, but spoiler fits, not as huge as I really thought. And then I'll pop the hood right now because I don't know if I'm gonna fit it all in one video, unless you guys let me know in the comments also, should I start making like 30, 40 minute videos because that's what this is gonna consist of today. I wanna get everything done, I'm not even joking. So this side looks pretty easy. This is going to be a replace, that guy right there. Um, this guy right here is gonna get a hard line That is gonna get completely swapped this and that so I believe I Need to remove the inner cooler. I might remove the inner cooler. I might even drive to my cousin's house I'm gonna see if he's free today because I also want to change the Valve cover gasket. I have a new one of those that I've been sitting on and if you guys remember my car has been leaking oil So he was like we might as well just change that so if I can remove the inner cooler and get that tackled the same exact day, I'll probably do that as well. But for now though, let's definitely change these lights because we need a nice little spice up under here. Ta-da! clear lights i think it just makes the truck look a lot better and that whole kit together was like 25 bucks nice and clean next video we're going to install this i'm gonna do it today though but we're going to install this and lastly i just want to install this little cubby because it's been just sitting around and i feel like why not just install it so if you have a j11 you know that you just have this which is nothing and inside no storage anywhere you have a glove box that's it not even a center console which i actually bought as well but i'm gonna just unscrew this it's pretty simple it's just one two three four five eight and then boop boop done out with the old and while i'm back here actually let me install my new license plate now we got the good old way for the fame license plate coming very soon and now let's just get this little cubby on and see how amazing it really is this is one of those in my opinion must have if you have a car. like there's no flaws to having this in your car Ta -da! and we're done who doesn't want look my whole fist who doesn't want some extra storage pretty sure back here it doesn't make any difference either once i get my rear seats we'll see exactly how it looks but you can't even really tell i love it one of the best things i bought for my jimmy all jokes aside but catch you guys on the next one i'm gonna finish tightening all this up we're gonna get the boost gauge we're gonna get the blow valve we're gonna get all that done in the next video but catch you guys on the next one peace